All right, we got another video today. A uh, quick little issue that I had. Um, I was basically just driving and I noticed some uh, steam and I could smell what I thought was coolant. And then I noticed the leak underneath my car. And uh, basically the, you know, the temp was telling me to stop driving, you know, uh, no coolant. So what happened was my coolant sensor and i'll post a video so see right here Go, goes into that the plastic hose pipe right down there uh basically it popped out there's a clip that holds that in and a rubber o-ring gasket and all the coolant came out of there i lost all my coolant and couldn't drive anymore so what i did went and got a replacement which i won't even need to replace the whole sensor uh just this plastic ring and the o-ring as you can see um let me see if i can get that in fix it i uh, haven't seen any uh issues people saying there's any issues with this happening to them uh so i just thought it was a pretty unique thing that i would uh share um not incredibly hard to fix you can see you don't really have to take anything apart uh, if you wanted to you could take some of these lines off and probably access it easier but see if we can get it on fix the issue and uh yeah all right everyone a uh, quick little update on the temp sensor um I did end up getting a new sensor that came with the new uh, O-ring and the clamp, the clip that holds it in. I did not need the new sensor, my sensor was fine, uh, it was just the fact that uh, it popped out. Um, so basically what I had to do is put the new sensor in, the clamp, you can see down there, got it in, wasn't leaking. Uh, basically added coolant and then I had to bleed the cooling system which meant um, taking the cap off of this and the supercharger bleeder screws in there and then I also had to take off this whole cowl and then you'll see uh, back in there kind of in the center for the uh, heater core uh, you will have to bleed that out just get disconnect that hose um, but after I got the cooling system let out um, everything was fine. I did have to clear all the codes since it was still saying um, you know, cool malfunction on the dash. But once I cleared it, um, everything ran out good. Had my heat back. I have no leaks. Everything's running good. Um, I didn't even really have to take anything off. I did remove that screw right there and the hose kind of to the coolant reservoir, which you don't really need to do. But I did just for more space and. Everything is running good now. Wash the engine bay because I did have coolant um, kind of all over the place. So pretty uncommon issue. I just thought I would go over.